Jurgen Klopp's final season at Dortmund was a tale of two halves. The first was the club's worst in 30 years, but they bounced all the way back into Europe before giving the coach an emotional send-off. Dortmund began by conceding the fastest goal in Bundesliga history in an opening day loss to Leverkusen, and things went from bad to worse. Far from challenging for the title, they spiralled from one loss to the next, a derby defeat at Schalke included. An extensive injury list and below-par World Cup heroes only compounded the misery. Despite continued support from their massive army of fans, Dortmund was soon floundering at the bottom. Gone was the fearsome turbocharged pressing football. In its place, sheer perplexity and a mounting loss count. Ahead of the restart, the season goal was radically redefined. We need to set a realistic target. Right now, that means getting out of 17th place and avoiding relegation. I don't mind when exactly we do it, and I'm confident that we will. In February, they set about the task in earnest, just as Marco Royce penned a very welcome contract extension. A 3-0 thumping of Schalke in the second derby instalment underlined the upward trend. Happy days were here again. However, just as the more ambitious Dortmund fans were dreaming of a dramatic run all the way to the Champions League, back-to-back -back defeats against Bayern München and Borussia Mönchengladbach restored a sense of perspective. Then in mid-April came the shock news. Klopp will be stepping down at the end of the season. What matters now is for this club to simply have the opportunity to get back to making best use of the enormous potential that's still here to continue developing free from obstructions thrown up by its own past. For that to happen, one of the main men has to clear out, and in this case, it's me. The announcement served as a form of release for coach and team alike. A series of old-school performances on home turf meant they did qualify for Europe after all. The Bundesliga's most spectacular stadium rose as one in tribute to the outgoing coach at his final home game against Bremen, capped in appropriate style with a win. A rollercoaster campaign ended on an upbeat note. Klopp had led Dortmund to Europe for one last time. The ideal scenario in life, when you've been together for quite a while, is to have a collection of shared moments and experiences that you'll always remember and that you'll remember for the right reasons. And leaving here, I'm taking a very, very big sack full of those kinds of positive memories with me. It was a moment that will linger long in the collective memory of the 80,000 strong crowd who experienced it firsthand. Jurgen Klopp took his leave of the Dortmund public, to whom he had given so much and received so much in return. Es hat mir einen Spaß gemacht. Und I've enjoyed it incredibly. Vielen, vielen Once again, Dank thank you so much for everything. And we'll meet we'll again at some point, absolutely no doubt about it. Irgendwann. So until then, it's goodbye from Kloppo. Oh, your Kloppo. There was one more job to be done. Some 130,000 Dortmund fans followed Klopp and the team to Berlin for the DFB Cup final. Dortmund took an early lead against Wolfsburg, but the perfect trophy-winning finale was not to be. The Klopp era was over, but the memories of its success and its passion already have their place in the Bundesliga annals.